Hi everyone, I am Sarita, your one and only sci-fi diva. I'm giving you a different vantage point today. I'm coming to you from my desk. <laughs> All right, let's cut the nonsense. We've got a lot to talk about because I can decide what show I wanted to do. Did I want to talk about The Expanse? Did I want to talk about Westworld? Did I want to talk about some shows that I've never even touched on? Humans, Shadow Hunters, none of them. You know what I decided? The 100. All right, Arabella, this is for you. She's requested it, a sci-fi diva fan. Hey, I hope you've subscribed. All right, let's jump in. So the 100, here's where we're at right now. Let's start with Octavia, AKA La Dorena. All right, she's trying to get her crew back to habitable land, which is apparently is in the valley where a bunch of prisoners now occupy it. And they've got this, let's just call her Warden, the leader of the group. Her name is irrelevant, but she's pregnant. That is really, that is very relevant. Um, so Octavia is trying to get her people back. One crew, she wants one crew to be in the valley. And those prisoner people from space, she wants them out. And she will do whatever it takes. Collateral damage. Yep. The more the merrier, it seems like for her. Now, I know that's not her, that, no, that's not it, but she is not afraid to die and she's not afraid, to, not afraid to kill a whole lot of people. So there you go, Octavia, which presents a problem for Clark, which that presents a problem for Bellamy. If Clark has a problem with Octavia, then basically Bellamy has a problem with Octavia because Bellamy is in love with Clark, but Clark's not, I think she's still trying to figure out. It's one of those situations where it's a guy that's not really good looking and then it takes like a long time to be interested in him. Like a long time. Like he's just taking out on dates. Think about his Bellamy. Bellamy's been dating Clark for like three, three million years. And he's in Cedar go from guy to girl to guy back to girl. And he's just waiting for his turn. He's like, when am I up? <laughs> I know. I'm shady. But Clark's like, we got to take out Octavia. She's crazy. We got we to gotta kill her. Bellamy's like, whoa. You can't kill my sister. Clark's like, but she's crazy. Isn't that what we do? And Monty's like, that's your problem. And here goes Monty. I really don't care about his character, but he's around because I guess he's the brains of the operation, him and Raven. So he's saying, that's all we do is kill people. That's how we figure things out. We kill people and then that's supposed to solve a problem. And it never solves a problem. So yeah. So Bellamy's like, nope, we got to find another way. And he ends up basically giving Octavia a, a roofied cookie that's the best way to describe it and she's gonna be pissed when she wakes up she will never forgive him but as bellamy says my sister my responsibility mm -hmm. so clark's trying to let her man <laughs> take care of that meanwhile clark's trying to keep maddie who just needs to be back slapped across across the valley get her in check because i told she said maddie i told you not to show your skills because now octavia is gonna think you're a threat because Maddie has night blood. And the grounders, they thought all the night blood people were gone. And if Maddie gets the flame, who knows what's gonna happen? A civil war. Uh, Kane. I don't care about Kane. You could have killed him off when Jaha was killed off. I, why are y'all acting like Kane is this? He better have a crazy arc in the show that he's so valuable because right now, I don't like Kane at all. I know he's trying to talk to Sense and Octavia, but Cain, I remember you from the arc. I remember you from when you were float with people. So don't try to act holier than thou now. We're not here for it at all. Take that somewhere else. We're not impressed. Okay, Abby. They have Clark's mom on drugs. The doctor is addicted to drugs. This is a huge problem. I know it happens in real life too, but to see Clark's mom strung out like this. Yep, she's the next person that needs to die. Yep, kill her off the show too. Nobody else has a parent. Why does Clark get a parent? And now her mom is literally dead weight. Bye-bye, Abby. Raven, my girl Raven. Can you cut Raven a break? The first first season one, Raven comes down. And what does she cut? Raven's boyfriend gets sent down to earth with Clark. His name was Finn. We were sad when Finn died. That's when we knew the show was more Game of Thrones than Dawson's Creek. They just going to kill off people. <laughs> um, even though y'all did kill off Mitch Dawson's dad, that was that was jacked up. But anyway, uh, we knew it was real when they just killed Finn and both Clark and Raven were into Finn, even though Finn was Raven's boyfriend, but uh -uh, Clark stole him. 
Or did she steal them? Either way, it didn't work out. So Raven's been in pain since season one. Here she is in pain again, collared, getting shocked. When Abby started electrocuting Raven, I said, oh no. Not only will Raven not forgive you, but Clark won't either. We don't care how bad, but that's what an addict does. Wasn't in that movie, Who's Not, was it Who's Not Is It? Whatever that movie is where, where the woman put that baby in the trash can. I'm just saying, drug addicts know no bounds, right? Anything for that fix. Echo, that's Bellamy's girlfriend, but he's really into Clark. But he won't admit it to himself. Mm. Uh, we don't care about her. She's supposed to be some skilled uh, spy. I don't care. You can kill her off too. So right now we can kill off Abby. We can kill off Kane. And we can kill off Echo. We need to keep Monty alive because people still have an affection for Monty and Jasper and that whole situation because he's one of the original 100. So yeah, Monty's girlfriend. She can die too. Murphy. I only care about keeping Murphy alive if you're going to bring him back to the, into the fold because I need him mixing with Raven and Clark and that whole, I need him back in that storyline. I don't care about Murphy's girlfriend, Emery, but I guess they need to have these people because they need to have potential people that they love die in order to keep the storyline intrigued. And finally, Indra, I saw you in Law & Order, boo. <laughs> Law & Order has every star in it. Who has is, who is not starred in Law & Order? Not that... I guess this actress is considering herself a star, even though I love the 100. A lot of people who don't know any better aren't watching. Speaking of that, I'd like to close with saying more people should be fans of science fiction. Science fiction is really just a reality sometimes that has not come to pass. I don't know why there are not more people liking sci-fi shows. All right. As always, I'm Sarita, your one and only sci-fi diva. See you next time.